We have this bread slicer that sits on a really ugly grayish piece of particle board. This space allows the machine to be folded into the cabinet, which we never do because we use it all the time and all the crumbs would end up on the floor. That's just unpractical. So I'm finally gonna make a new base for this machine. This piece of spruce plywood is gonna be the core of the new base. I think I had my tripod somewhere upstairs, so I thought it would be a fun idea to see how far I will get with only using one hand and holding the camera in the other. Turns out, not very far. I cut the edge bending out of one of the scraps from building the kitchen table. For this shot I held the camera in my mouth by the tripod mounting plate, which made my spit drip all over the place. Which was kind of gross. I thought about mitering the edge bending, but I'd rather have some end grain exposed to prove the piece's authenticity. By spacing the router fence up a little bit, I could use it to flush trim the edge bending. Now cutting the veneer on the table saw. If you think this is dangerous, please feel free to express your safety concerns in the comments below. And I use the circular saw to make sure the edges are straight. The towel is gonna help to evenly distribute the pressure, which is important because the veneer is not very consistent in thickness. And I clamped everything up. And the next morning I removed the clamps. And now you can see me puzzling about what had happened. Something, either the wood, the glue or the plastic sheet must have been really contaminated with grinder shavings. I think the water from the glue must have dissolved some of the acid from the oak, which then corroded the shavings. Interesting. A couple of passes with 80 grit sandpaper got rid of all that ugliness and revealed an actually quite beautiful grain pattern. and just a bit of spray lacquer to seal the surface.
Any proper woodworker would also put a layer of veneer on the back to keep the piece from warping. But I don't think that the introduced asymmetry will cause any problem. Finally, I'm adding these rubber feet and also this latch so that the machine wouldn't get pushed around when in use. I thought about hooking it up to a dust collector, but my girlfriend somehow didn't like the idea. So, uh, 